What's up guys, welcome to the 29th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. And actually, we use in our, I'll be teaching you about a quite interesting feature in C++ in this tutorial. So, um, you're just going to create a new source file, and again, to save some time, I'm going to put the video on pause while entering the required information and uh, then start it again once I enter the required information just to save some time so I'll see you after the pause welcome back so um, now we're going to um, create a local variable again called i again again and we're going to set it equal to uh, 10 and uh, actually we're going to uh, create a loop of our own or a label as it's called, as it's called. So, and we're going to call this a loop slash label fire. So you just type fire and a colon to show C++ that this is a, a label. Now you say C out I and line and I minus minus. So now just uh, simply create a um, if statement if i bigger than zero and now on the same line as you created the if statement you type go to fire now you should have this opening and closing bracket for the if statement and now you type C out fire okay so um, actually I'm just going to explain this uh, real quick right now first of all as you see we have a local variable called i which is set to 0 no to 10 sorry and then we create a label called fire and remember to find it as a label by putting a colon uh, after the name and then uh, what this um, label will do is that it will print out the value of i which first of all will be 10 then it will um, decrease i by 1 and uh, then it will simply you know uh, just um, say that when uh, each time that i is uh, bigger than a uh, zero go to this label well that means like do this label so um, actually we're making a loop of our own because uh, we have a label right here that doesn't loop by itself uh, what actually again uh, this uh, label right here will print out the value of i and after it uh, printed out the value of i it will decrease it by one and then we say that when i is uh, bigger than zero go to fire and the go to uh, thing right here allows you to uh, jump to certain points of your um, of your program so if you had a a, a label called uh, poop2 then it'll go to poop but uh, well you'll probably go to the restroom if you need to make a poop but um uh, that's uh, what actually what the go to thing here does it allows you to jump to certain points of uh, the program and uh, when it jumps to it it also executes them so each time it says that when it checks for if this uh, if uh, i is bigger than zero as it checks for that it also execute executes the label file which will print out the value of i and decrease it by one and uh, then it'll print out when uh, and then when uh, i is no longer bigger than zero, which means that when it hits zero, in, instead of uh, zero, it'll say fire. And that is exactly what it does. And I can show you that by hitting F9 right now. But first of all, you need to save it, of course. We're going to save this as um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to save it as go to. And as you see, it says 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
spawn fire and uh, you know that's actually explaining pretty well what we just did if you look at the source code while running it first of all we got a variable called i a local variable called i which has the start value of 10 and then we have a label that prints out first of all prints out the value of i and then it decreases it by one but um, this is first done if when it checks for okay if uh, i is uh, bigger than zero then do this then uh, then do this action then go to then execute this then print out the value of i and decrease it by one and uh, once it is uh, no longer bigger than zero which means that it will be zero it will print out fire so and that is actually exactly what it does you see first of all i can explain it uh, while having this open too first of all as you see we got an invariable called i that's all these numbers here 10 9 8 7 6 4 no 5 4 3 2 1 these are all the values of i then we have a label that prints out the value of i that's what we do here 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 here, here and here and then the label also decreases i by one which is also does uh, right here as you see but it first does it when it checks for uh, as long so we say actually we say that as long as um, i is bigger than zero then execute the the fire label which will print out the value of i and decrease it by one and then once uh, this term right here is no longer true it'll print out it'll print out fire and as you see once it uh, hits zero instead of printing out zero it says fire and that is exactly what we wanted it to do so uh, yeah that's a good thing and uh, actually that was your tutorial on um, go to uh, statements and i really don't know how long time i have lived or have used or anything so um, i'll just see you in my next tutorial and also remember to uh, send me a private message comment in the video or something and you can even call my phone number if you want to but uh, you don't know it <laughs> loser uh, anyway let's get back to the subject uh, and the subject is that i'll see you in my next tutorial